So look, bro, I did make a video, it was a bit of a rough video when it came to just explaining some of the things about this game that, you know, make it not worth buying, right? But I'll, I want to go into more detail about how, because there are people giving this the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, there's going to be updates. Yeah, there's going to be X, Y, and Z, right? Okay, fair. But here's the point. The point is when they're charging you 80, 60 to 80 dollars. For a game that's not complete, you gotta wait on updates for. Everybody's talking about the potential that it has and this and that, right? When I spend sixty to eighty dollars, when you buy something, no matter what it is, do you expect to get what you pay for, or do you expect to get a piece of what you paid for and get the rest later? And I'm talking about food, goods, any type of good that you can imagine. Do you buy and pay for these things to get a portion of what you paid for? Or do you pay for these things to get all of what you paid for and get an experience out of what you paid for? As a gamer, as a sports as a sports gamer in particular, do you even care about getting your money's worth? Or are you just happy that we have another boxing game? And I'm put boxing in air quotes because this game, boxing is not its priority. Like, okay, look, yes, you can throw punches and things like that, but they didn't even take the time to tighten up the experience and to tighten up the mechanics, they they went and they said, okay, we're gonna make a Unity game. Mind you, Unity is the is let's let's look at some of the games that Unity is responsible for, right? Unity Technologies. Let's look to see what some of the games Unity is responsible for. Because Unity is responsible for all of our favorite mobile games. Yes, I said mobile games. So let's look and see some of the work that they've worked on. And I've made some decent games. I think they made, um, yeah, they 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 they're prior they prior uh, they prioritize mobile games, and um. That's pretty much their track record up into this game. And I believe that it was chosen because it was cheaper to do it this way. If I had to guess, right? Unity has a physics engine and a mocap uh, support. So, hey, we can make a boxing game. That's not how this works. And then they threw a skin over it and made it what it was. Why do you think that this game, what's the, what's the footprint on, it, on Undisputed? Like 19 gigs? Oh, 17 gigs? It's basically a huge mobile game. And you paid $80 for a overinflated mobile game? Mind you, all of these games are mobile games. Unity made Temple Run. Hollow Knight is a good game. Cuphead is a good game. But all of these are mobile games for the most part. Pokemon Go. Like I said, Cuphead. Uh, Ori in the Blind Forest. So these are these game. This engine is not made for what we're seeing it be used for. Why do you think there's so many bugs? Why do you think they've they've taken something because it was you know yeah it's mad cheap. They took some shit. It was mad cheap. Let me see. Let me let me look into this. All plans. Let's see how I wonder how expensive this is. Because you know I don't know how many people they I don't know how many people worked on this game. 185 bucks a month. Okay. Like a team's professional professional tools, publish the game console. Okay, so this is probably where they went. They said, okay, let's get the $185 a month version. Oh, or the industry version. $450 a month. Okay, cool, whatever, right? Not even the fact that it fucked out, you know what I mean? It's it's it was cheap, it was ex easily accessible, and that was just the direction that they went with. $45 or $450 a month. They made Subway Surfers with this, you know, okay, whatever, right? And then they said, we're going to make a boxing game. We're going to get skin, you know, face scans and stuff like that. We're going to skin this game as if it's a premier boxing experience because that's what we know everybody wants to do, right? And they may love boxing. Yeah, that's true. But they wanted to make sure that they were able to make their money because this is independently developed. I think Deep Silver, who is Deep Silver responsible for? Because Deep Silver is responsible for games that... I actually like. I think they're responsible for shit like, um, yeah, Saints Row. Yeah, exactly. So Saints Row, Dead Island. Yeah. Deep Silver used to publish uh, games for EA that EA was a part of. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say 
Yeah, Volition. Yes, because um, was it? Am I bugging right now? Let me see. I, I need to do this. Right. I need to do the match right now. Cause, nah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I am wrong. I am. Off. I am. Off. I am off. So yeah. Nah. Volition got closed. Deep Silver is the publisher. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Whatever. Right. Here's my. Here's the point, though. Here's what I'm trying to get to. Yes, they did have a publisher, stuff like that. They were in. They were independent. It was independently developed. That's just what. That's just what I'm getting at. But they went the cheapest route. They provided an experience that they know people would pay for. And then they served it up on a platter. It was a 10 cent finish. It was a 10 cent finish. Million dollar idea, 10 cent finish. And when you get into the actual game and you look at how janky the game is, right? The movement, the punches, the online experience, you know, things that actually matter in the game. The actual game itself, everything is good about the game until people start throwing punches. You know what I mean? And it's just that simple. Everything is good about this game until people start actually trying to box. It does have its moments where things that they do work well together. But for the most part, this is game. It should never have been this expensive. It did not deserve the $70, $80 price tag that other AAA games actually they actively work their ass off to be able to afford now understand there are games that do this grimy stuff but you don't think that deep silver and people who they never made a sports game for one they use unity to make a boxing game unity is a mobile i doubt that they've i don't know if they've used unity before to make saints row games because i didn't see that on a list i saw only mobile games cuphead and something else so again they use the cheapest option, right? Because 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 deep deep silver they use the cheapest option, uh, and and they wanted a big return, so they tried to pull a fast one. They tried to pull a fast one, and it just didn't work. Now, here's the ethics of it when we're talking about the business laziness. I paid eighty bucks. I guinea pig this out. Just for my community, because I do have a page where uh, I play Fight Night on. And I've been putting undisputed clips on the page, good and bad, because I'm being honest. And they never did anything, or they were, you could see the laziness because they didn't even go and do their due diligence to do things like update the graphic um, of the game when you buy it. Like you buy the WBC edition or whatever that has Tyson Fury on the cover, you don't even get this cover. The graphic isn't even updated. Now, that could be updated, but why is that not already there? So, uh, people are... Uh, they give you this WBC pack, right? You get a bunch of fighters. Most of them are like Lester. 80-some overall, whatever. You get the old, the younger Muhammad Ali and shit. That's cool. Younger Canelo. Younger Tyson Fury. Okay, that's cool. Dimitri Bivol is basically unusable because of his play style. He's trash. Caleb Plant is trash. He's like 83 overall. Why would I want to pay for 83 overall just because I have him in the game? Fuck the name. He's not even usable online because of the way this game works. That's besides the point. Here are the reviews. I bought the deluxe and they gave me the regular one. So the, I think that they're talking about the updated graphic. They have to pay for the deluxe vision, the, uh, edition, but on release, my deluxe will switch to the standard version. So I think they're just talking about the fact that they didn't update the graphic. They don't buy it. Not even worth $20. This is leaks behind any fight night from a decade and a half ago. The trolls are poor as hell. Knockouts are terribly animated and look stupid. Literally the same repeated knockout cutscene for every KO. The commentary is generic and vague. Facial damage is poorly executed. Now, one thing I learned about when reading reviews is that usually the more thought out and the longer they are, it, that's when they're a lot closer to the truth because when you've paid for something and then you don't get what you paid for, it does give get a rise out of you. It makes you upset. As it should. You didn't get your money's worth. Right? And I'll get to the reviews in a second, but this is another review. We deleted reviews. I bought $80 edition. Says I own the standard. Review is gone. Here's a rundown. Clunky. Combos hit after being thrown. No footwork. Getting KO'd by ghost punches, which I do have a clip on on my Instagram page. 
uh, no energy loss for spammers and whoever thought of the way to get up it's the stupidest thing I've ever seen good luck getting up this is a $30 game at best and to be honest this game should have been released free on game pass um, they should have just cut the check for for the game up front with the publisher or whatever it should have, honestly this should have just been like one of them games where they cut you a check you make the game and then you get your cheese off of um, like however many subscriptions you bring to PS Plus and Game Pass it should with licensed boxers that have official record worth the purchase and right now um the PC version I actually did not get a chance to update it and play it and I want to make sure that that version of the game is up to date like the console version but as far as me playing it on consoles 1000 percent i'm gonna tell you right now yes it's absolutely worth the game i mean worth the purchase and let's really talk about it because some of y'all are gonna be like yo thank you for telling me that and after seeing your gameplay i went ahead and pre-ordered it and i was like yo no problem no problem this game go out and go out and buy this game go out and buy this game this game got so much going on this game on the console side is great this is something that console gamers needed the sports fans needed and i think pc please I'm, I'm hoping i got the update for the game this game plays so damn good this game is really fun and reasons why this game is worth the 60 dollars 70 dollars 80 dollar deluxe whatever the price is is because of the following one it's been 13 years or so since we've gotten an official boxing game not a generic one not creed boxing not no damn cartoon boxing game that just might be fun not the roblox one we got an official boxing game with licensed boxers that so again and i'm and i said this a million times look do i think he genuinely believes this <laughs> as sad as it is to say i do I think that he i think that he does mean it but at the same time I also think that he does not want to be in bad standing with the developers of the game because they're giving him the shit for free. They're having events with boxers and stuff like that. Like people are playing this game everywhere on in, on the internet. But here's what I'm going to say. Again, shills, because this is shilling. You got a game that's trash for free and you're promoting the game because you're, you're receiving preferential treatment from the people who made the game. It's just that simple, bro. You're gonna give you're giving good review. This game is sh trash, bro. What? What he's saying versus what we're seeing? Just just look side by side. Side by side. He said, if you're a true boxing fan, don't hesitate to purchase. What does that even mean? A true boxing fan. So now we have people who are it, it's just like 2K all over again. It's 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 like 2K all over again. It's like 2K all over again. But this is the consensus where this is a little bit. This is the closest thing I've seen to the truth that we've seen yet. Is people were buying this out of desperation. I was a hater of this game, but I must admit the game is for real boxing fans, and it's only going to get better hopefully with updates and more fighters. So everybody knows it's trash. But what they did was they bought it out of desperation and put their prayer hands together and said, all right, now please fix this game so we can make it playable. Please. Right now, I'm tolerating it. I'm stomaching it. But please. And when this hype in the honeymoon phase dies down and there's been no updates and then, the, and then these niggas disappear, because that's what's going to happen. These niggas are going to they're going to disappear. They're going to disappear, bro. And when they disappear and you're not getting any updates there, this game dies because it's going to die. bro. This game is going to die. It's going to die hard. Because they already had this out on PC for how long? And it went nobody fucking playing this shit. Mind you, this shit is no different, really. All the modes are unlocked now. That's the only difference. I didn't even know it was done to be coming out yet. Like, what are we talking about, bro? So that's what I'm saying. You have to be careful with these shows. Listen to people who got the game for free. I'm going to buy it because it needs support for future installments. It definitely has flaws, but every game has them. This is what's wrong with sports gaming community. 
people will uh, literally allow a developer to piss on them and tell them it's raining and if you think that these analysts and these specialists and these people who just uh, uh they they all they do is take data and look at data all day long if you think that these people don't understand that sports games are make a lot of money for being trash they wouldn't have never taken on this in the first place knowing how fickle boxing fans are and sports games fans are bro sports game fans are literally are literally the most emotional group of of human beings especially of men of grown men on the planet you used to talk shit about 2k i had an nba live page for the betterment of the last six months that i was just going growing and going down the minute that i explained all of the shit i don't like about 2k to them they were literally you know and you know up up in up in arms now we kind of have there's not that there's not as much this uh delusion when it comes to the undisputed but there is some and i just don't want this to turn into what 2k has to be turned into where these niggas keep using weak ass unity engine for for hella cheap all right making trash games and getting dollars because oh y'all we got the new update with all the fighters now undisputed 2 coming soon blah 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 they just wanted to make it to where it was serviceable and it kind of worked they didn't want to make it good they just want to make it to where it was sellable and stop their trust they're going to be working on undisputed 2 i think but I don't want to see more of this. So please vote with your wallets. Keep it a buck. Let this game not succeed. People who do not give a fuck about their consumer base do not deserve to get money. They deserve to fail every time. Every time. They deserve to fail. Because that's how you learn. And all the people on here shelling on the internet, telling people that this game is worth it, bro. Shame on, shame on you. Shame on you for doing this same thing again because you're being you're receiving prefer for preferential treatment from a developer who in reality, man, they don't give a fuck about you. Deep Silver just fucked over Saints Row. They just fucked over Saints Row. The new Saints Row is trash. It's trash. So, anyways, take with that what you will. Save your money. Don't buy this game, bro. It's trash. Trust. Trust and believe that. It's, it's garbage. It's garbage not complete the online is trash everything it's all it's all trash now i might be able to do one last thing before i go right let's go ahead and look at this real quick let's go ahead and look at this real quick let's look at this real quick Let's go ahead and look at this real real quick because this this one right here is going this video is going viral Now, if you're wondering what you're looking at, yes, he's hit, he's punching me from across the ring. Across, and that happens in multiple times in this one fight. I have footage of that happening multiple times in one fight. In one fight. That was in the same fight. You know what I mean? And I've been posting undisputed content. It's been going viral because I've been posting it in a way that shows, hey, listen, do not get on this thinking that it's one thing because of what you heard on YouTube and they're showing you these edited videos. I didn't, I'm not editing this video. I'm not editing this video because there's so little trust in the gaming community and the sport. You can't tell who's keeping it a buck right now. So I'm just going to record my thoughts raw and direct i'm gonna just we're just gonna go through this right and and i'm just gonna let you make a sound decision because now you have a true honest opinion of a game that to be honest doesn't deserve a dime these people don't deserve to make any money not from us not from people who love boxing absolutely not you understand what i'm saying so with that being said i appreciate everybody who came and tuned in leave a like in the comments leave a or leave a like in the likes uh, leave a like uh, uh leave a comment tell me what do you think about it 
what is your honest experience been do not let anybody tell you hey your mo my game's fine blah 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 no no fuck that tell how was your experience all right uh this is mine and, and they're all every experience is valid but the overall game itself is trash all right y'all be cool y'all be cool man i'm gone mm -hmm.